Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to show a couple of the new features that I'm really excited about, also a little trick that I figured out, and uh, make a suggestion. Uh, first of all, let me just show you real quick the snap to grid, I love it. So if you move this around next to another item, you can align it left. You see that long line on the top, from top to bottom? You've got a center, that's the center of this one. And you can right align it right there. Now it's a right aligned and right under it. Okay, and you can do the same thing with like text is here. And then if it's an element that's not super close, you can then use the keyboard to put it back where you want, keeping it centered with that item. Uh, Sank it, if you're watching, one suggestion that I have is when we move with the keyboard, it moves, I don't know, five or 10 pixels at a time. It'd be nice if we could hold shift or something, kind of like in Photoshop, where we can fine tune move it by like one pixel at a time. Uh, give us a lot more control and fine tuning. Um, especially, I know you can do that with the mouse already, but then I take the chance that I'm losing my center with the element that I wanted to center it with. So it'd be cool if we could have a smaller pixel uh, change for the keyboard. Uh, maybe hold a certain key so that you can keep the normal movement, but also hold a single shift key or control key to give us the fine tuning. Uh, but I love the snap to grid. Thank you so much. So the other thing is copy and paste. So if you just simply do control C, it'll tell you it's copied to clipboard and then control V and you'll get another one of them. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you is, first of all, I'm going to put them right next to each other. Uh, one of them is on top of the other. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but I, what I'm going to do is the original one that I copied, I'm going to change to black. The original one will be on top of your copy. So I'm going to change it to a black or a darker gray. And then I'm going to bring the white one down on top of it. Okay, so now they're right on top of each other. You can't see the black one anymore. But if I use my keyboard and go one up and one over, I've got a shadow. Or if I just want a little one, I can put the shadow where I want it, how I want. Again, the fine tuning would allow us to use... Uh, fine tuning, excuse me, <laughs> if we could move in less pixels at a time, I can make the shadow look really good. In the meantime, if you use the mouse, you can still make it happen. It's just a little harder because we have snap to grid. But like right there, now I've got it with just a slight shadow on the right side and it definitely pops a little more. I can try and give it a little more. Like that, and that pops. Uh, you can do the same thing with the next one. Control C, Control V change the original one to black. So the original one, sorry, is underneath. When you make a copy, the new copy is a layer above the original piece. So this is smaller text, so we really need that just that little bit of movement. Again, I love Snap to Grid, but now I don't have as much fine tuning here. Maybe it's something where we can turn Snap to Grid on and off on command. Uh, I don't know, but either way, I still love the fact that we can play around with it and make uh, shadows now. So I'm gonna put it, put it over here, kind of away from the other elements to see if I can have a better chance of making this shadow look good. The other thing, worst case, if you can't, simply make the top layer slightly smaller from the bottom right, if that's where you want the shadow. So if I just go like that, now I have a little black shadow there. And you can have whatever color shadow you want and how big you want. So there's that. Uh, now I'm going to put this back over here, lined up with Texas. Let's do right like that. Grab this one, put it back on top. There, there. So now I have nice shadow on those two things. If we preview it, the animations, they're still, the copy is the animation, so it, the shadow will move with the text perfectly. One more time. You can see how that, the Texas and the multi-specialty medical care really pop out on that background. Whereas if I take the shadow back out, then you can kind of see the difference here. And you can see a little more pop here with the shadow than up there. So I just wanted to show you guys that. You got the copy and paste and the snap to grid, which is amazing. But you can also kind of do pseudo shadows now. And I'm really excited about that. And you can do it with other objects too. Anything that allows you to change the color, uh, you can make it a darker color and make it a background shadow for whatever object you want. All right, guys, make some cool videos. Thanks for watching.